Hello and welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Parker, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the ping pong cannon curbside craft. Now, without any further ado, let's begin. First off, your kit should come with instructions, two larger pieces of wood, two thinner pieces of wood with designs on them, two round cut pieces of wood, two pins, a wood bead, rubber band, ping pong ball, and glue. And if you want to spice up your craft just a little bit, markers and paint. And also a little sight for the top. To start off, you're going to need two larger pieces of wood, the two thinner pieces with designs, and glue. First, find the piece with the slot in the middle. That is your top piece. You can set that to the side for a moment. Use the other piece. This is your bottom piece. Take one of the side pieces and apply glue to each of the slots. Then, after you've applied the glue, pop it right into the side. Do the same thing for the other piece. Then after you have both the side pieces on, take the top piece and carefully place it on top. If you want your craft to be extra sturdy, take a little bit of extra glue and just squish it around right over each of the slots. After you completed putting this first part together, you're going to take your two circular pieces of wood and carefully put them right onto the pins right on the side. After you have them on, take your glue and put a little bit on each end in order to keep it in place. After you've gotten those pieces on, you need three more things. Your rubber band, your two pins, and your wooden bead. First, Take your wooden bead and thread it right onto the rubber band. Place it right in the middle. Then take one of your pins, thread it through these holes, and put it through your rubber band. Apply a little bit of glue. Then pull the rubber band around the box, away from the end with the hole. Then. Carefully slot the other pin in and through the rubber band. Apply a little more glue if necessary. And finally, take your little sight, apply some glue around the end, and put it through the hole right at the top. And you've got yourself a fully functioning ping pong cannon. Now if you like to decorate, you can take your paintbrush and markers and do some kind of design with whatever you like. After you've completed decking out your ping pong cannon, you are ready to go. All you'll have to do is pull back the bead and fire. Enjoy!